In an effort to boost his support among organized labor, former President Trump is meeting with Teamster leadership. Tia Ewing is in the studio with his message. Tia. Well, Sylvia and Terrence, this endorsement would be huge for Donald Trump because, as you know, he's trying to lure in more blue-collar voters. With more than a million members, the Teamsters Union represents UPS workers, film and TV production workers, and members of law enforcement as well. Today was the Teamsters annual meeting in D.C. and comes just a week after the United Auto Workers Union endorsed President Joe Biden, who's billed himself as the most pro-union president in history. Trump lashed out at UAW President Sean Fain for the move, calling Fain a dope. And in 2020, the Teamsters Union also endorsed Biden. However, Trump says he has a, quote, good shot at securing the union support this time around. Usually a Republican wouldn't get that endorsement for many, many years. They've they only do Democrats, but in my case, it's different because I've employed thousands of Teamsters. What you've done in the past doesn't guarantee you a future with us. We want to know what you're going to do for our members moving forward. Well, that was very uh, straight up and plain. The Teamsters also plan to meet with Haley and Biden before endorsing a candidate. And we have just received an update on the Illinois primary ballot challenge. You remember, we brought this to you yesterday. The group objecting to Trump's candidacy is now taking their case to the Cook County Circuit Court. Yesterday, the State Board of Elections ruled to allow Trump to remain on the ballot despite the insurrection clause of the U.S. Constitution. The group tells the Tribune they anticipate the case will eventually go before the Illinois Supreme Court.